seen a ditto if Zanotto has his way with it. Yeah. All and right. there's a Palutena already. Yep. Sporting the one four one two tag. It's like Smash 4 Palutena where you have to pick <laughs> customs for just that short amount of time. Yep. Okay, so Nora actually decided to start off with Diddy Kong here, not opting for the ditto. And I, I'm excited to see Diddy Kong, because before this game came out, I was yeah. of the mind that it didn't matter how much you nerfed Diddy Kong, he, like, his archetype just had to be at least solid, right? Yeah. That was my opinion of the character for a very long As, as long as you have this controlling game where you can play with, with the yep. banana that stuns and lets you get some easy combos, Yep. It's just a character that is designed to always be good in a one versus one platform fighter, but many people have disagreed with me on that fact. Yeah, and I mean, for Zenodo, it's all come down to that edge guarding mind games with the banana, so even if you nerf the combo game, his edge guarding game is still going to be there. Palutena, notoriously hard to edge guard because she has a teleport recovery, so yeah. easier said than done there. And I'm trying to down tilt in the corner already, but breaking out of there with a jab here is light. Yeah, and Light just keeping up this pressure. Now he's got advantage. Woo! <laughs> Set up smash reaches far, but not quite far enough, thankfully, for Zenodo. Still a pretty spicy read. Yeah, I not mean, he lie. had the right call out. It was just Zenodo went a little bit too high. Oh, just wait for that counter. Gets a forward smash. And there is the first stock of this set. I mean, Again, you have to appreciate, like, the risk taken there. Yep. But, okay, Diddy Kong has a nerf recovery, but he's still able to make it back. Yeah, and I mean, even with that nerf, it still feels like it's a still solid recovery just because of the amount of tools he has to make it back. <laughs> See ya. Never mind. <laughs> what were you saying there? <laughs> so, get Pal out. Palutena's stoppage of D Diddy Kong's recovery has been buffed. That's what really matters. <laughs> yeah, and anyone with any of those multi hits just sends Diddy yeah. Kong sink into the drink. You see it here with those barrels. Yep. So no, I'm trying to fight his way out here, but I just trying to fight back with these jabs here. And honestly, Palutena has a lot of disjoints to deal with Diddy's approaches. But these sliding down tilts from Zenodo are going like, to buy him a little bit of corner pressure, but yep. the platform in center allows Palutena to sneak by. Yep. There's a banana hit. Not going to be enough to kill from that side of the stage. Yeah, the forward smash out of dash seems to be the, the optimal punish, even if you're not going to get the KO. Just good damage every which way. Down tilt up smash, still going to work. Yep, classic Diddy Kong. That sure is something that's changed at all. There, There's a little bit more of a DI mix-up involved in the yeah. down tilt up smash, but not going to find its mark here on light. Yeah. So it's another one managing to keep a stock lead here, but that stock is definitely not fresh. Yeah, one or two more of those back throws will get it done. Zenodo's doing a good job of just mixing up the timing and getting off the ledge to avoid those up smashes. Not a bad trade, though, still for Zenodo. He's getting good extra credit in. The Explosive Flame trying to pressure the banana pull. Not meant to be, but got him! <laughs> Man, that just clipped at the pinky finger right there. Dang. Didn't realize it reached that far down. I always said those knuckles are a little bit disjointed. <laughs> back, yeah. Way back in Smash 4, the forward smash, it just, he just reaches out and yeah. gets you. I mean, I guess uh, Diddy Privilege also got carried over from Smash 4. Debatable, depending I mean, on who you might ask. Down tilt is yeah. not the the, yeah. the neutral solver that it used to be. Yeah. And forward air specific, specifically. Yeah, that's whoa. definitely gotten knocked down a few pegs. But yeah. It doesn't hit shorter characters nearly as well as it used to because the startup on it has a little yeah. bit changed. But still incredibly useful in a lot of situations. And is so he? is that a... Is he... I oh, he's would be actually. surprised to see a Belmont here. Yeah. Like, thinking about the Sheik, too. Sheik is a character who is good at just taking advantage of people who have poor recoveries. And Diddy Kong yeah. now finally is on that poor recovery list. People yeah. for a long time said in Smash 4, <laughs> his recovery is exploitable. But when you can barrel at every single angle you ever wanted to in yeah. Smash 4, it doesn't necessarily matter. But now Sheik can easily just drop that neutral in a spot where the barrels just get stymied. Yeah. Exactly, so going with the Sheik here. Smash 4 classic matchup. Yep, something we definitely saw a lot of back in the day. It feels weird to say that I missed this, but I missed it just, <laughs> just slightly. I don't blame you, honestly. It's nice to see this matchup again, because you don't see as many Sheiks nowadays, sadly. Yeah, we have Big Mac in Chicago, who's still rocking the Sheik, but starting to think about some secondaries, and yeah. obviously Light here. Uh, only going to Sheik in Game 2, not starting off with the character in Game 1.
Yeah, and I mean, I feel like she still has a lot of that neutral game she had back in Smash 4, but it's just a lot of those 50-50 kill conversions that are not quite as present as they used to be. Also, the re reward on her neutral game is definitely worse than it was previously. Yeah, that's true. You, you, you see a lot of people who complain about the, just the damage output of the character where you get like, you know, forward air, forward throw, bouncing fish, and you've done like yeah. 20 damage, and then one character hits you with one move, and that's like 25. Yeah, she guide us to the ultimate degree. Right now, Light just doing a good job trying to keep Zenodo off the stage here, because like you said, having a character that can take advantage of that recovery, normally a good thing, but when your opponent can catch your own recovery, not a good thing. Solid win here for Zenodo going up a stock and now getting in his good hits. Back air adds up to 32%. Yeah, honestly, he's been doing a good, good job just outspacing a lot of Light's approaches here, just kind of fading back, letting Light hit the buttons that he wants to, and then responding based on where Light's landing and what he's doing. That's another, like, shadow nerf to Sheik, right? Is she used to have just a great speed advantage relative to the rest of the cast. Yeah. But now it feels like everyone's fast. Everyone can catch those bouncing fishes. Yeah, I mean, when everybody's got, like, the same jump squat, the same relatively starting frame data for a lot of their movement options, it definitely takes away a lot of the advantage Sheik had. And even just trying to wait out Zenodo's recovery there, he's just so good at mixing it up as far as when he's coming back and when he's going to let the barrels go. Zenodo not fooled by these cross-up forward smashes. That's a move that can catch people off guard, but all right. <laughs> I mean, if it's gonna work, it's gonna work. But turn around, banana forward smash, easy peasy. Yeah, a bit of back and forth past the banana there. Is Nora actually managing to catch it back and get rewarded for it? Nice angle on those barrels just to green over light there. Monkey flipping to catch the shield there. Getting up tilt combo, lots of damage coming out here. Throwing off stage, all right, just gonna get a back here to continue the pressure. Yep. But this ledge trapping position from Zenodo is something he's very familiar with, even in this matchup. Whoa, Ooh. okay. <laughs> Feeling himself right now, going for that aggressive edge guard, but still manages to uh, clean it up. Yeah, dang. Zenodo holding it down for Michigan, still in winner's side. He's gonna have to take down Utopian Ray to make it to grand finals, Yeah. which could be another Palatina and